Hello? Hi, is this Michael? Uh, yeah, this is he. Hey, Michael, this is Pete S*** over in the corporate offices. How you doing? Uh, oh, uh, uh hi. Hey, listen. Hi, how listen, are you? I'm all right. Hey, sorry to call you on your day off, but I need to have an off-the-record conversation with you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, am I in any trouble of, of any kind? Not yet. <laughs> I'm just messing oh. with you. Now, I'll just I'll just go ahead and get right to the point because I know you're probably busy. Um, I want you to have your boss's job. Oh wow! What do you think? Uh, I'm not a. What do you mean by that? You mean, like I mean eventually, or? I mean I want your boss Todd out, and I want to make you the general manager of the auto parts store. Oh, oh man, you're gonna fire Todd? Well, I'd like to. You know, that's the oh. thing. <laughs> and I want you to have his position. Oh, that would be so great. You have no idea. Yeah. I know it's an exciting opportunity, but there is a little bit of an issue, and I, I'm going to need your help if we do this. You need my – what do you mean you need uh, my help? Can't you just, uh, can't you just fire Todd? <laughs> that's not the way it works. You'll learn that when you become a manager. Um, I need cause for firing him, and that's where you come in. I, I'm sorry, I'm still not understanding you. Like, can you can you tell me what, more what you need from me? Yeah, I need your help in creating a reason for me to fire him. And one of the easiest things that I could think of would be if you could just plant some illegal drugs in his office for me. <laughs> what? All right, come on. Can, can you do that for me? <laughs> okay. No, what do you what do you really need me to do? That's it. I'm not messing with you, man. Um, listen, my desk is full of meth right now for just this kind of stuff. You can use some of that, put it in one of his drawers, put in a phone call to the police. Boom, he's fired. Uh, you're actually you're actually f serious right now. A hundred percent. Hey, uh, his job is more than double your salary. Yeah, you know, I I figure he made a lot of money, but it's double. I didn't know it was double my salary. Yeah, more than double your salary. All you have to do is plan a little bit of drugs for me, and you've got that job. It's a big raise, my friend. I hate Todd, but I can't I can't get him in that much trouble. I mean, I don't want somebody to go in. It's one thing if he loses his job, but if he goes to jail, I don't want that on my oh, conscience. Oh, God, you're killing me. Sorry, I just, I, you know, I just don't feel comfortable with that. How about this? If you're not willing to plant the drugs, would you consider seducing him and recording it? <laughs> now you're with me. I didn't hear me laugh. I'm serious. Uh oh. The business world is not an easy place, man. If you want to move up the ladder, you got to be willing to make some sacrifices. Ah. Uh, Plant some drugs, sleep with your boss and film it. I had to do all those things. <laughs> you did? <laughs> yeah. How do you think I got to where I'm at? Oh, man. I respect, you know, the things you went through to get to where you are, but I'm just not comfortable making a pass to Todd. I mean, I don't think he'll he'll believe that I mean it. He knows that that's not my kind of thing. You don't even really have to make a pass. I'll tell you how I did it one time. I walked up behind my manager. I grabbed their wrist, kind of, and I placed it on my bum. Got a picture of it. Next thing you know, I got three promotions in a month. Uh, that's, uh, that's pretty crazy. I know, I know. It's a little unconventional, but... You think you could do that? You think you could somehow get a picture of his hand on your leg or something? That's all I would really need. I don't need you to go all the way with him. Look, I, I, I really want this job, but I'm just not, I don't, I'm, is there anything I can do other than, than, than touch him or, or put drugs in his desk or anything else? I do have another idea, yeah. And this doesn't involve you touching or drugs or anything. Okay. So, I don't know if you know this, but your boss has a medical condition. He's got a weak heart. Oh my god, I had, I had no idea. Yeah, he's on medication and everything for it. So here's what I'm thinking. So if you're willing to sneak up behind him a couple times a day and then just clap your hands really loudly by his ear, it might startle him enough. We might be able to actually make that thing stop. Wait, you want me to kill my boss? No, no. I don't want you to kill your boss. You just told me he had a heart condition. You want me to sneak up behind him and you want me to kill this guy? No. You wouldn't be killing him. His heart would be killing him. It already kind of wants to anyway. That's not. I'm not going to kill my boss for a job. But you don't get it. It's not you actually doing it. It's just you're having fun and, oh, my God, his heart got no, freaked that's out. Not, that, that's not fun. It's, what's wrong with you? But don't, this is auto parts. Don't you want his job, though? Yeah, I want his job, but I don't want death on my conscience. I don't want to send him to prison. I don't want to make his wrist. Oh, all right. Butt. Well, what's wrong with you? I got to tell you, you're on my list now of people that I'm not a big fan of. So, um... I guess I can just hang up the phone with you. Oh, and... so what? Now you're going to kill me now? Now I'm dead? No, I'm just going to do a prank phone call on you. <laughs> what did you just say? I said I'm going to do a prank phone call on you. This is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning doing a phone tap on you. Your coworker Alex set you up.
Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. He says you guys are always talking about how you'd do a better job than your boss. Oh, my God. He said that to you? Yeah, and you know what? I don't buy it, man. I bet your boss would be willing to kill you if you had to. <laughs> I thought you were some kind of monster, man, calling me for that. Oh, come on. Don't act like you haven't thought about it. Yeah, but I wouldn't actually do it. <laughs>